The blue sky is my face. All these bright stars are my lovely eyes, my pristine teeth. The moving clouds are the expression of my joy and sadness. This earth is my body. These overwhelmingly majestic mountains of Crestone are my pelvis, where primal forces hide. There's sometimes when I'm out on the refuge and I look at the surroundings around me between the mountains and the habitats of the refuge and I think to myself, oh, it could be 300 years ago. It's all probably looked the same back then as now. Every so often I'm out there and I look up and I am amazed at the number of stars that are really out there that you can actually see because of the, the dark night skies. One of the things that is most extraordinary about this, this place is that not just in this time, but in previous times, of course, many native peoples came here from all over the continent to come in a relatively peaceful way to do deep, deep ceremony, meditation, and connection to the sacred. And so it's got a long history from a, from a native, native American perspective of going deep into into this exploration of the truth of oneself and of nature in a very sacred way, but also in an intercultural way that, that built on understanding, tolerance, respect, and mutual uh, unfoldment. There are many spiritual centers here and they all get along beautifully and we all support each other, and we all, you know, acknowledge uh, and, and kind of have a special uh, devotion to this place. Because we are all wanting to look inward, um, and also not just inward. Inward is a, is a strange word. It's not really inward. It's how to kind of live very sanely in relationship to the world around us. But that requires that you, you're actually able to sit alone and bear who you are. <laughs> and this place makes you do that. You can't escape it. You have to leave to escape it. And so I think we all have that in common and we all appreciate that so much and support each other and uh, value what each other is doing. There's a kind of clarity that I at least experience here that is different from anywhere else. I, I originally come from the Los Angeles area, but the truth is that the clarity was never like it is here. And I have to say that having that available in this space is really, uh, which I say, it's, it's just gold. It's just not like that for me anywhere else. For me, it's nature and it's a spiritual landscape. Uh, I feel very drawn to the Native American way of being and way of walking in balance. And this was their prayer place and still is actually. They didn't live here in the highlands. They lived out in the valley and even that was considered very sacred. So consequently for me, it's a spiritual landscape within the context of stark natural beauty where you can actually dedicate yourself to your highest purpose and the place helps you to accomplish that. In our case, it's working in the healing center, our massage school, and through the yoga center. Okichi Okada, Shume's founder said, to create paradise on earth, one must find beauty in their hearts, beauty in their minds. 
when individual beauty spreads, social beauty comes into order. Um, I think that's a great way to think about Crestone. My personal feeling is that Crestone is a place for most people to come for a short time, for longer retreats, but it's really not a place for too many people to live permanently. If everybody did, it wouldn't be what it is. I like to think of the tens of thousands of people that come to visit Crestone for spiritual retreat, for hiking in the mountains, for art tours, and what influence that has. Um, you know, like Crestone is kind of a birthplace of ideas. And then you get the mountains here and you go on in, you know? I think of these people who come and visit Crestone for a myriad of reasons and what happens when they take their experience back out into the world. And I think about Mokichi Okada's quote in that light and think it's very relevant that uh, we can really find our individual beauty here in Crestone um, and when we, it's where it's really needed is in the world. the universe and so are you my dear friend. When your two bare feet want to jump wildly in the sand, enjoy the bliss of nature's gentle massage. All is well 